Hey guys, I'm Michael Long for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. If you're thinking about buying property or real estate in Costa Rica, you are definitely going to want, want to watch this video. We're going to be talking real estate lawyer, okay? And we're going to be talking to Jasenia, who is a real estate lawyer. She's been helping gringos and expats not get ripped off for a number of years. <laughs> and I got to tell you one, uh, one thing first. Not any, I just don't sit down with any lawyer, trust me. It takes a long time before I feel good about who I'm talking Thank to. You. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, it's it's a, uh, it's hard to find. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything about your field of lawyering, but not everybody is on, you know, as trustworthy maybe as you Thank are. You very much. So anyway, guys, we're gonna be talking about the basics of uh, real estate law and what you can expect a lawyer to do if or when you buy property here and what the lawyer is going to do for you. And I want to start off with a very easy question, a softball question to you. Who can buy property, own real estate in Costa Rica? Do you have to be a resident? Okay, well, thank you very much. And thank you for your, uh, for trusting me. Uh, well, in Costa Rica, uh, it is very important to have a lawyer, right? And in Costa Rica, if you are not a resident, you can buy property here, right? There are like... So I don't live here. I live in California. I want to buy a house here yeah. and I can buy it. Exactly. What you need in this case is a, a resident agent, right? And normally it is a lawyer. And you can buy properties in two ways. In two ways. You can come here, make a corporation. I mean, for the corporation, you need to have a, a lawyer to help you, a resident agent. So like you would do that? Exactly, I do that, yes, of course. And you can buy property by yourself, under your name. So right? you can either form a corporation and buy a house, exactly. personal property, yep. just personal property, yep. or you can do it personally, exactly. I can buy a house. Exactly. So I find a lawyer, which that's a whole nother video on how to find maybe a good lawyer, but so I find a lawyer, what are they going to do? Okay, first step... I have a property. Okay. Yeah, let's suppose that you find a person who's going to sell you a property or you saw a property uh, online. Okay, the first step that you have to do is the, the properties in Costa Rica, they have a number, right? They have a number. There is a survey, right? A plan, we call that here, and it has a number. So if you give me that number, I can go to registro, the register where we register the, the properties, and I can go there and see all the details of the property. For example, let's suppose that you tell me it is 400 square meters, the house that you want to buy in La Fortuna, for example, and I can go there and see if it is correct. If you tell me, well, it is under the name of, I don't know, Juan, so I can go there and see if it is correct. Is it like the official title? Exactly. So the it's the title of the property as it stands at this time I want to buy it. Exactly. And, and you're seeing if it's If it is correct. correct, all the information that you're giving me there. Let's suppose that uh, it is 400, but I see that it's 400 or less, maybe 350 square meters. I can say, no. Uh, first, you need to correct this paper because it's not, I mean, it's not uh, appropriate, right? Yeah, don't so, sell any, don't buy anything until everything is correct. Exactly. So that's why you need a lawyer here. Also, uh, after I check all the information, I have to see, well, if, if everything is correct, right? If your neighbors are, are the ones that said here. And also, uh, I'm going to check if the property has paid the taxes because in Costa Rica we have to pay, we have to pay taxes. So what I'm going to do is uh, check if everything is correct, right? After I check that, I can say, I can tell you, well, yeah, the property is uh, good. You can go and buy that, right? So it's ready to buy because everything on this, the taxes have been paid. There's no liens against exactly. it. Exactly. Uh, or even, for example, you can buy a property with a mortgage. Let's suppose that the one, this person has a mortgage in the bank. For example, many of us, we have properties with mortgages. So I can tell you, well, uh, let's suppose that you pay me the money. So I'm going to the bank and ask, well, uh, Juan is going to pay the mortgage. So I do that as a lawyer. Right? Okay. And after, I mean, when you pay to me, 
I go to the bank, the property is clean, so now you can get the property under your name or under the name of a corporation. Now, I, I, don't, I don't mean to go back and I don't want to throw a wrench in this, what you're saying, but technically the registry that you're looking up that number, mm -hmm. I think I, even I can do that, right? Well, I yes. mean, I can actually, I, I've actually, I think I've done it before. Yeah, you right? can do it by yourself. So what I'm asking you is technically, do you have to have a lawyer? I'm not, uh, of course you want a lawyer, yeah. especially in a foreign country mm -hmm. and all that. But technically, do you have to have a lawyer? Well, yes, because let's suppose that at you do At some point, you're going to need a lawyer. Exactly. Let's suppose that you do it by yourself. And then when you come to me, you say, yes, the property is clean or or is good. And I'm going to do the register. I mean, if you buy... I need to have here the buyer, one that is going to sell, you need, I mean both, you need to come to my office and I'm going to write uh, how much is going to be, uh, how much you have to pay for the taxes, I mean to transfer the property, how much let's suppose that you needed to pay to the bank, so you need a lawyer to do the transfer of the property. So technically you don't need a real estate agent to buy the house, no, technically. technically. So I could actually find a house exactly. and then I could just contact you and me and you could get that house for me with actually out the realtor. But I will recommend maybe not a realtor or I can I have to tell you that you have to find a person that you trust. If not you're gonna you're gonna get in trouble. Okay so what's the um, what's the connection between the real estate lawyer or the real estate agent mm -hmm. and the lawyer are these two different people from two different places mm -hmm. so if i if, if if i find a realtor and i find a house so he finds me a house mm -hmm. should i find my own lawyer or is he gonna say or she gonna say oh i have a lawyer see i don't think that wouldn't be good right we don't want to do that we want a separate well, normally when you come to me with a realtor, for example, of course, uh, the person who's going to sell is going to pay him the commission. And what I recommend people is that person who is going to buy uh, needs to or should choose the lawyer. Right. right. It seems like it would be better checks and balances if there's a separate agent and a separate lawyer who don't necessarily know each other <laughs> well not necessarily because for example in a town like fortuna we we know each other i mean we know everybody and i can say well go to the lawyer go to this one that person is not a realtor but that person can sell you a property so in a place like this in in most of places in costa rica i mean small places we know each other so i won't recommend you a person that is gonna cheat you or is gonna uh, there's something wrong. So as far as a lawyer, you're basically doing pretty much the same thing a lawyer would do in the United States mm -hmm. that would do in Canada. You're checking for the taxes and liens on properties yes. and re making sure registrations are right, mm -hmm. all paperwork is right. So at the end, if something is wrong, something could, I buy the property, two weeks later my neighbor says, you're encroaching. Mm -hmm. Am I finding another lawyer or are you going to help me with that? Who's Are you responsible as the lawyer? Well, as a lawyer, we are responsible because, for example, as I told you, uh, let's suppose that you bought 400 square meters, right? So I am responsible to go to the register and see if you, I mean, if your neighbors are okay with your property. I guess what I'm saying is anything is wrong in the paperwork, yeah. anything. Anything in the paperwork, and you find that out maybe later mm -hmm. on. Are you standing by me, or you know what I mean? Do you yeah, yes. In my case, yes. Because you can, people can yes. make mistakes, and, yeah. and this is maybe even a more mm -hmm. silly question. But does anybody do checks and balances on the lawyering you do for the paper? So well, when you submit the papers, are they kind of going? Uh, yes, of course. In the register, there is a person that is going to say, "Well, this is the north limit." is not uh, Anna, it's going to be another person. So a person is going to check what I'm writing as a lawyer, right? Yeah. And also if we, dis if, I mean, if we as lawyers do something wrong, not professional, not ethic, we can be sued. So that's why uh, we have to be very careful with the title, the transfer title. Everything has to, to be all, well, perfect, right? If yeah. I made a mistake <laughs> as a lawyer, I can be sued. Something that is also very important is, for example, you're going to buy here a property of four, uh, 400 square meters. So the money, 
It's very important. You cannot give the money to the realtor or it depending if he or she works with a company, a very serious company. But normally, uh, the lawyer is going to be in charge of that. To so the transfer of my money in the United States to the property down here in La Fortuna is going through? No, not through my bank account. But I am responsible that you... But you're responsible for the transaction. Exactly. The transaction, but not in the bank. For example, remember that you're going to buy Juan the house, right? So I have to write here in the paper that you're buying the house to Juan, that you brought the money from the States, from California, right? Everything has to be written and it's going to be transferred to a bank account here of Juan, right? So, but everything has to be, let's say, clean and transferred. Right. And I am responsible for that. I don't touch because money. Because they have a lot of, you know, Costa Rica is this whole money laundering, mm -hmm. where's that money yeah. coming from exactly. thing. So a lot of people kind of go, well, do I need a bank account? Or how, how do I get my money down there to buy the house? Mm -hmm. So they don't really need, they, they don't need the bank account here. No, because they remember, just need you. Or, yes, or, I mean, they need me to be sure that one has the bank account in the correct bank. I'm going to help you to bring the money here to his account. The bank here is going to ask your bank where does the money come from, right? So this is the so even in the United States, there. Yes, they're... of course. I mean, we cannot yeah, like, yeah. open <laughs> our bank accounts to to bring all the money that you want. Darn it! No, 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 no. Because I allowed. was going to buy one's property, but I don't no, know. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be careful with that, and everything has to be written in the legal paper that lawyers have to do. Yeah. So this is very important for you to know. Who pays you? Ah, okay. Uh, from this, okay, remember... Juan's paying you or I'm paying you? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Uh, remember that Juan is going to give the realtor or the person that you found the 5% or depending on the, the amount. But normally, you and Juan both have to pay, depending. He have doesn't have his own lawyer? No, no. There is only one lawyer. In Costa Rica, we don't need a lawyer. For the buyer and the seller. Yeah. I did not know well, that. We don't need, but it's recommended. I mean. That the, that one has a lawyer too. Exactly, because as a lawyer, let's suppose that I'm on your side, or I know the person who is going to okay. sell you. So uh, what I normally do is that I said, well, Juan, this is the paper. This is a draft. Tell your lawyer to read the draft and tell, or I send an email, and tell, tell him, your lawyer, if everything is correct. Now, right? every call... Normally, normally, that's what we, we recommend. All we contracts do. have to be in Spanish, though, right? Yes, because we have, yeah, Spanish. Is getting, is getting it in, uh, transcribed in English a, a separate Well, let's thing? suppose... I, I don't know what you're saying in this contract. Okay, but. so if I am responsible, and of course, you have to, let's suppose that I'm your lawyer, and you say, well, I want you to check everything to see if the number is correct, taxes are paid. Of course, I have to charge you. And I'm going to say, yes, I can do everything in English, but you have to pay a lawyer to do this. Right. right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, so what, what would you recommend that a, a buyer, what's his due diligence? What, what should he be doing during this? Does he have any responsibility in this? Uh, is it just to find a good lawyer or, I mean, what's, what is me as a buyer doing to well, be responsible for my finding you and the real estate? Do you have any like... Well, normally it is, I mean, we as lawyers, we are always recommended. Let's suppose that you have a friend, I don't know, Brent from Canada. Let's suppose that I have worked with him, right? <laughs> I, I sold him a, a beautiful hotel in La Fortuna and he's going to tell you, okay, Come here, I'm going to recommend Yesenia because she is very good. Or the contrary, don't go to her. So normally, if you come to Costa Rica, I mean, you all have friends. A person that came before you or a person that is, I don't know, in Iberia, in San Jose. Uh, of course, all the time you have to watch out about prices. We as lawyers, we have like, a, we call that a chart, right? Uh, in order, I mean... To charge you a fair price, of course. When you we mean like a, a chart from the government? Yes, yes, of need? course. I mean, I cannot charge you. Can't you can't just like, make up. You can't make up your fee. Well, depending. For example, if it is in Spanish, is one fee. 
If it is, I mean, I'm gonna give you a service in English. Let's suppose that I have to go to the airport, some lawyers do that, and pick you up because you're coming from California. I'm gonna take you to La Fortuna, so I can do that. Or let's suppose that you have different questions and you call me like many times. So depending on the work, <laughs> That's I me. do. I would do that. So hire me <laughs> and I can charge you. No, no, no. It, I mean, normally in my case, and I think that all, all my colleagues, we try to be fair depending also on the office that you work right. yes does, does the lawyer go out to the property physically to see it or is this all on paper and everything or do you actually well, go to the in my case i try even to pick you up at the airport because this is a very i mean that's a service i know that in the states or in canada it's not common but we do it i mean and not only me lawyer yeah, yeah but do you do you check out the property so you've done it all on the registry and you've checked all the, everything is right but do you physically go look at the property? in my case i do it but it's not it's not you don't need to no, necessarily you don't need, no, no. the paper is gonna say everything yeah right i was so, just wondering if it's that do do people do lawyers do that here i don't even well, know well not all of i mean not i guess all that's why us. the real estate agent is around yeah. and doing in my that. case i try to do it all the time i mean if the property is around but with the paper, I know, of course, let's suppose that it says there it has a house or it has uh, 11 rooms or it has a restaurant. In a case, uh, I, I'm i going to help you sell in a hotel. So if I were my my colleagues, I, I would go there to check. Yes, it is recommended. Well, Jesenia, I think you gave us a little bit of groundwork here. We can build. I can buy off one yes, soon. Yes, come. I, come I feel like I, I can make a transaction here. Yeah, of course. I think we're going to be talking to Jesenia again. I'm almost positive. We like her. Although she's trying to sell Juan's property to me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Jesenia. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. We'll, be, we'll see you in the next video somewhere. Yes, okay. Uh, one thing real quick. If, if, uh, if you have any questions for Jesenia, I'm, I would like to promote, she doesn't know I'm going to say this, so you just can't email her and just start asking her questions. That's not fair. That's not fair. If you're thinking about really buying a property and you're really going to buy a property, yes, Justinia wants to talk to you, but she can't use her day to answer <laughs> emails. Hi right, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicanow.com. This is Justinia. Gracias. Peace guys, hope it helps.